What a fight, what a fight. 2016 is a year of great, great fights going into it and coming out of it. And this this was definitely the case uh, as well with this one between Carl Frampton and Leo Santa Cruz. Um, Leo Santa Cruz trying to defend his WBA super featherweight or WBA super version of the featherweight title. I don't want to you know mix it up between 126 and 130. It's the 126 pound featherweight title, the WBA super version that Santa Cruz was trying to defend against Carl Frampton. Wound up coming up a little bit short um, with the majority decision loss to Carl Frampton who went in there, was looking very, very sharp, looking sharp, looking quick, looking snappy with all of his shots, um, showed a little bit better stamina than he had against Scott Quigg. Um, for an example, it seemed like uh, he was draining himself to make 122 after a while. Um, he tried to, you know, try to say that it, that wasn't necessarily the case, but I, personally, I've always felt like it was. At 126, he just looked um, refreshed, went in there against uh, Leo Santa Cruz and was doing very, very well, especially early. Um, it seemed like his just the quickness and the snappiness of his shots was really bothering Santa Cruz uh, a great deal. Santa Cruz was actually able to do pretty well, though, when he started um, working off of the jab and when he started going to the body against Carl Frampton. But it seemed like he really neglected both the jab and the body work until later in the fight, which is where he actually wound up starting to win rounds. It seemed like uh, on the judges' scorecards, basically, uh, he kind of dug himself into a hole with Frampton winning the early rounds um, in the front runner sense, just being quicker, snappier with the shorter inside shots. And then Santa Cruz kind of um, started to catch back up in the, mid or in the middle to late rounds, especially the last, um, I'd say the last three is where Santa Cruz really started to shine, where it looked like Carl Frampton was really wilting under the pressure, under the, the stamina load of uh, Leo Santa Cruz's almost inhuman endurance. The guy just has a insane gas tank. He, you know, he went in there and was throwing and throwing and throwing and throwing. And even when he was missing, even when he got, you know, knocked back by a couple of Frampton's heavy-handed shots, he just kept throwing. And um, I think that really took its toll. But overall, um, it looked like the judges wound up seeing Frampton just landing the, the cleaner work overall. Uh, one judge, of course, had it a draw, 114-114. One judge had it 116-112. One judge had it 117-111. I actually wound up disagreeing with them. Personally, I actually had Leo Santa Cruz winning this fight, 115-113. Uh, to 113. But, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily argue with a draw or with a close victory for Frampton. So, in spite of the fact that I think the cards are on the wide side... Um, I can't necessarily argue with um, Frampton actually getting the, the victory, getting the decision. Um, he, he definitely worked for it. Leo definitely worked for it. They were both pretty much calling for a rematch after the fight. And it seemed like the, the fans, the crowd um, right there in the, in the stadium were calling for it as well at the Barclays Center. You know, just a, a raucous, raucous crowd. You, it definitely translated through the TV. Um, in spite of the fact that it seemed like Frampton definitely had the majority, you know, a clear majority of the crowd, Santa Cruz definitely had a, a rooting fan base of his own there, too. They were pretty much hyped throughout the entire fight, um, going just uh, back and forth between each, each other's chants, just like Santa Cruz and Frampton were going back and forth in terms of the action in the ring. Um, lots of punches landed. It seemed like, uh, if I remember right, I think Copybox had it really, really even in terms of punches landed, too. Uh, very, very close fight um, as far as they were concerned and I think it definitely told the tale. I know Kamibak can be inaccurate in a lot of senses but I think in certain fights it'll actually accurately tell the tale of exactly what's going on in the ring and I thought that was very much the case here where each guy was really going for tit for tat especially in the middle rounds where um, it seemed like they were almost at a stalemate before Frampton started to tire out a bit and before Santa Cruz really started to amp things up. But I mean just an overall good fight. Uh, both guys definitely have some things to learn off of this fight, especially Santa Cruz, I'd say, because um, Santa Cruz has definitely been criticized in the past for uh, not necessarily fighting the greatest of opposition up until he fought Abner Morris. And, um, you know, like the, this was, uh, to a certain degree, a bit of a step up in competition uh, for him as well, probably a little bit more so than, than Frampton, who's um, probably fought a little bit more even, uh, evenly matched fights um, on his way uh to title contention, title victory, and, you know, I guess multi-title victory now. Um, but it was definitely a very good fight. Frampton said that he'd like to take uh, Santa Cruz back to Belfast and have the rematch over there in front of his home crowd, his, his true home crowd. Uh, Santa Cruz was saying that he wanted to have the rematch in L.A. in front of his home crowd, but when pressed about it, he said that he'd go over to Belfast too. He'd take the fight over there. So I think that that's a no-brainer. I think they should make that fight. Make it happen. Um, I think in this case, an immediate rematch is not a is not a bad thing, especially with regard to um, the little bit of banter that there was in the studio, or not necessarily in the studio, but in the um, the, the the commentary box between uh, uh, 
Lee Selby and Gary Russell Jr., the IBF and WBC champs, respectively. And they were kind of going back and forth, trying to call each other out a little bit. Selby was trying to say that he wanted an all-British show showdown with the likes of Frampton or Quigg. But Gary Russell was trying to pull his card and saying, like, look, man, you you know, people know who I am. You know who I am. And, you know, if you want to get a if you want to get a title just like I want to get your title, you know, we need to do it. And uh, I'd definitely like to see that fight. Russell and Selby, um, especially if they were to put it maybe on the same card as a uh, Frampton versus Santa Cruz, I think would be incredible, incredible stuff. Although, you know, different types of fan bases, you know, Selby's from Wales, um, and then, you know, uh, Frampton's from, from North Island, and, uh, you know, just the, the different fan bases between Santa Cruz and Russell as well don't necessarily make that make all that much sense. But maybe Selby versus Russell in the Barclays Center could make some, some significant sense, if not over in Wales. So, I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing either of those fights. Um, I do know that, that, that the, there could be a possibility of um, Jesus Cuellar getting in the way of an immediate rematch between Frampton and Santa Cruz because of the fact that WBA has been mandating all these um, unifications. They've mandated several now. Um, I know they did it. They already did it for the straw weights. They're doing it. They just ordered it for the fly weights. They, they already did it for the super feather weights. They ordered it for the bantam weights. Um, and you know, uh, they're, they're trying to get on with it for the heavyweights and the middleweights as well. So, um, it'll be interesting to see if they wind up, um, forcing that mandatory. And I think Jesus Cuellar is really another very, very tough opponent, probably even tougher than, than Santa Cruz was, um, for, for Frampton, just because, uh, Cuellar is just a bigger, stronger guy. Um, you know, a lot of people, they consider Santa Cruz a, a big featherweight, but he's really more of a tall featherweight. He's a tall, kind of a thin, lanky type of guy that, you know, really didn't have any problems making 122 um, the same way that, that uh, Frampton did, whereas Cuellar is a big featherweight, you know, he's a, he's a big, strong, powerful guy, um, just, a, just a, a mass at that weight class. And so it'd be interesting to see if, um, if Frampton was able to take the level of uh, pressure and power that Cuellar brings, which is a different kind, you know, it's more of a, um, just a, a brutal brute strength type of uh, power as opposed to Santa Cruz which is more of like an endurance like distance runner versus a, uh, a sprinter which is what kind of Quayle would be to a certain degree but um, this, this was a great fight and I think that there's especially at featherweight right now there's a lot of great fights to be had you know Oscar Valdez just won the WBO strap you know he's out there too looking like a problem you got Jorge Lara who uh, absolutely wasted Fernando Montiel earlier this year who's definitely a problem out there um, and I mean, just uh, it's 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 looking really good, man. You got um, Jojo Diaz also fighting tonight. Um, you know, pretty much a, a stay busy tune up type fight, but I'm sure he's probably gonna get into the title ranks fairly soon. I know he's he's um, number two ranked in the WBC, so he's probably gonna factor into one of these uh, title shots fairly soon. And I mean, featherweight is a is an open division with a lot of um, with a lot of star power to a certain degree, and a lot of um, potentially great great matchups to be had you know a lot of great matchups to be had just like um years back when we had uh, the Pacquiao Morales Marquez Barrera um matchups between all those guys and you had uh, Guzman versus Soto we had Guzman versus Barrios there was uh Vasquez versus Marquez you know a lot, a lot of great fights in and around uh the featherweight division so um that's pretty much all I got to say about this uh, props to Carl Frampton for the victory um, biggest victory of his career, most definitely. Um, definitely made up for, to a certain degree, the dud that was uh, the fight with uh, Scott Quigg that didn't quite live up to the height that that got. This one probably exceeded the height that it was getting, really. Um, in spite of the fact that it was a little bit uh, better late than never, never type of situation. But um, good win for Carl Frampton. Um, solid performance from Santa Cruz as well. And I'm, both of them are going to have um, great fights going forward, I think. And I'm anxious to see them. And I think I'm sure that all of you guys are too. So that's it for this one, guys. Peace.